Hey, what's up? This is Leandro Bigetti from LittleAlchemist.io and today we're gonna talk about maps. Alright, so be sure to check out my previous videos on other stuff from Elixir, like getting started and installing stuff like that. Today we're gonna talk about maps. Maps in programming, they're sometimes called hash or dictionary or even hash map. They are your key value structure. So it's when you need to put in something and you have a key to retrieve it. So let's head over to IEX and see how this looks like. The maps syntax is defined by the percentage and the curly braces like this, right? Then we have our key, which can be a string. So let's put in my key. Then put equal in this arrow thing and your value, right? So let's put this to a variable. So now if I come here to my map, I can get the key. That's gonna be value, right? Now, some things to keep in mind. Maps do not keep the order in which you put things. If the order of what you're storing is important, you might want to use something else. The second thing is you can put anything in it. So really, you can actually come here to my other map and put in, for instance, my key. And that's going to equal to um, some stuff, for example. And then um, my other map gonna be just that right you can of course store stuff like key and then put in values uh, like numbers right and how you do multiple stuff in the same map we can put in for instance a string it doesn't even have to be the same one right so key two and that's gonna give us I don't know um, something and if we put that to a variable map then we can access this the same way. We just put in key or put in key two. Right? Can I have a map inside of a map? Yes. Nested maps are in fact very common in Elixir. You can put a map inside of a map. Let's call this nested maps. So we come here in our key. We're gonna put in now some other map, which we just define like this, right? So key inside, and that's gonna contain, um, oh geez, no, that's wrong. Key, key, ah, uh -huh. key inside. <laughs> it's gonna contain other stuff. And uh, now we close this map and we can still put in more stuff here if we wanna like the atom A has the, sorry, the value two. Then we close the first map and we close the second, uh, no, we already closed that one. So that would be it. So see, now we have A having the value of two, right? And um, the key has the value of that other map. So now if we come here, for instance, to our na nested map, ne oh Jesus, I wrote nested maps. And we put in uh, a key inside, Oh, sorry, this is wrong, actually, because we need to put the outer um, atom. So if we come here and put nested maps key, we're going to get the other map. And if we want to get even further into that, we can put in here key inside and that is going to get us to our other stuff. So you can you can basically make a very like kind of complex structure like this. One of my favorite features of maps is to use it in the argument of a function where Elixir will pattern match and already assign the value inside your maps into a variable. But that is the topic of the next video. So stay tuned. Let me know what you think about this video and what you want to see next in the comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you like this. And until next time, take care and happy brewing. Maps and programming, they're so sunk tall. Blah, blah, blah. Maps, 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 maps.